When the West turned away from Russia, the Kremlin began to look for new allies on the East. One of the Putin main minions, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov, went on a tour. Here he is in Vietnam. The visit began with laying flowers to the fallen heroes. Then he talked with local high-ranking officials. They shook hands, and Lavrov was impressed by such a reception and even decided to leave his feedback in the Book of Honored Guests. Best wishes to all employees of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Vietnam, who together with us uphold justice in the world on the basis of the UN Charter. Our glorious common history gives strength to efforts in preventing neo-colonial dictate in relations between states. A glorious common history is probably about how the Soviet Union once helped Vietnam during the First and Second in the China Wars, and also during the Vietnam War. Anyway, Lavrov was looking for a common history not only with Vietnam. Before that, he visited Mongolia. Maria Zakharova, Lavrov's subordinate, couldn't even resist and took a snap of Mongolia from the Russian plane. When they landed, a red carpet was laid in front of the Kremlin plane, and at the latter, Lavrov was treated with local cheese. The emotional minister immediately thought probably that this is how the Mongols want to show their commitment to the Russians. We have matching positions on most international problems. Both Mongolia and Russia proceed from the need to comply with the principles of the UN Charter. First of all, the sovereign equality of states and non-interference in internal affairs. But the most interesting thing was yet to happen. Lavrov met with the president of Mongolia and it was not just an official reception. They even set up a yurt in the middle of the presidential palace for such a high-ranking guest. They talked there. Perhaps this is how the Mongols decided to remind the Russians who and where the real master is. After all, in the Middle Ages, Moscow princes visited the yurts of Mongolian hunts. However, Lavrov didn't mention that in his speech. Instead, he started looking for some common history again. Both Russia and Mongolia keep the memory of our brotherhood. On the joint struggle against Nazism and militarism, today we reaffirm the high appreciation of the contribution that Mongolia made to the victory in the Second World War. Hold on a minute, take a look at this photo again. Lavrov, president of Mongolia, Yurt Vase. And on the vase, there is a Nazi swastika. We know that this symbol was used in the cultures of Hinduism, Jainism and Buddhism long before the Nazis, but how could one of the greatest denazifiers of the current world, Lavrov, be in the same hole with such a hateful symbol? Apparently he endured because he still remembered how the Moscow princes paid tribute to the Mongols.